Now we look at the canonical form for the octagonal constraints. The algorithm we use to find the survivability for ODBMs uh, does not produce a canonical form. And because it does not uh, implement the equality between the negative representation of the variable and the positive representation of the variable. So therefore you don't have a canonical form. To achieve the canonical form, we need to tighten the bounds that may prove due to the above equalities. So let us define a formula corresponding to a matrix. So let's say a matrix, the corresponding formula is that uh, you write them in terms of original value. Uh, for both integer and rational numbers, OD, o, ODBMA is tied for all i and j if you have the situation that uh, if a i j is less than infinity, so then you say uh, there exists an assignment such that that v, v prime i minus v prime j equals to a i j. Similarly, if you have infinite, then you have an unbounded value you can reach for the difference of this value of these two variables. If A is tight, then the A is the canonical representation of F. Okay. So how do we achieve tightness? The tightness is achieved by not only saying that Aij is less than or equal to A Ikj, that was in implemented by the, the algorithm we have done to compute check satisfiability. We also need to implement this provision. We say that a i j is less than equal to a i i bar plus a j j bar divided by two, and that should be the tell that should tell you that uh, if this condition is holds, then a is tight. How do we prove that? Consider cell i j. And such that you have a is i is not equal to j. Suppose a i j is finite. Okay? So you have i i j is finite, and uh, you uh, you would try to do is that you do this transformation. You take a matrix a, and at j i entry you write minus a i j, and i j bar entries you write minus a i j okay. so by doing so you are saying that uh, we any assignment of uh, so that satisfies that constraint f of a is actually going to take the value a i j and you want to show that that this v also satisfies the f of a bar how do we do that if first we prove the forward addition which is easily holds because uh, uh, since v satisfies a and the difference is uh, a i j so we can easily check that every other constraint will be satisfied and the updated one will also be satisfied because the, because of the construction in the reverse direction we need to show that this holds so first we need to show that there is no negative cycles so if this is satisfiable, so since uh, 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 a i j plus a j i is greater than or equal to zero, then so you have a j i is greater than or equal to minus a i j. So a j i is greater than or equal to minus j i prime. That's that's how I have updated this guy. Therefore, a is pointwise greater than a prime. Therefore, f a prime implies F A that if something is uh, sorry, if, if something satisfies A F A prime then it satisfies F A. Okay. Now we have to show that this holds. Uh, since uh, we have uh, A prime I J equals to minus A prime J I, then then it's very clear that the difference of these two variables has to be equal to I J. That's that's precise, and therefore backward direction holds. Now we are left to prove is that if uh, f a prime is sad, and how do we show that some something like a prime is sad is that there are no negative cycles in a prime. 
A prime can only have negative cycles if they are, if J i or i j bar occur in the cycle because we have updated only these two values. Otherwise, uh, origin matrix A uh, did not have negative cycle, but now we may have negative cycles because we have changed these two entries. So let's suppose only one of them occur. So what can happen is that uh, you can show that this one entry plus the sum from other variable to coming back to this you know, that and that the other, other end is uh, is less than zero and therefore you can show that since this entry is equal to minus a i j then you can say this is uh, you can just write it there and you just move it around then you can see that a path is smaller than the entry and that is uh, that is not allowed in our uh, in our uh, in our algorithm therefore uh, it's a contradiction if let's suppose both of them occur okay so how am i doing induction it like this is you have a path a loop basically in which you have uh, in this path you have uh, uh, i0 it starts with i0 and then it goes to i m and then you have a i prime 0 and then ends with i okay and this is just uh, i prime m okay and we are choosing these entries in such a way that this is i uh, i and this is j this is i again and this is j okay so then you have a cycle now we will sh show that these parts and these two edges if you put them together we will can derive contradiction okay so we get uh, we have a j i and i j bar separated out and these two uh, constraint these two parts are separated out and this uh, if we solve them then we can see that these are the original entries and then you have a 2 a 2 i j written here because this uh, these are the same values and uh, and these are the path from i to i as uh, bar so then you can say that a of i bar this is path from j to j bar and then you get this becomes transform so basically it's saying that a this has to be less than zero which is not in our assumption therefore we have a contradiction and due to the previous theorem and the desire of efficient computation let us uh, redefine a bullet for odbms okay. how do we compute odbms so we compute by uh, the following operations okay so you have a two n matrices produces uh, one after another a0 a1 a10 a2n and the final a2n is your a bullet okay. so first you have a a0 which is a then we have odd and even row so in the odd row what we do we this we update the entry ij if a uh, if their their value is uh, smaller than a i i bar and a j j bar divided by two in the case of even uh, even steps we, we we need to show that uh if between i and j you need to show that it goes to go okay and o is the step at which the iteration is happening we also need to consider we may have we go through i over j and similarly you need to say o o bar j and i o bar o j these are the different possible paths that may interfere in your uh, in your the bounds between i and j and therefore you need to consider all of them you need to prove a theorem that after these updates you will have considered all paths and at the end you will have uh, the, the final thing will hold true we will not cover the proof in in this uh, lecture but the slides at the end covers the proof and you may read about it so here's an example in this example you can see that you have this matrix and you want to update and so uh, my o is one and first time i'm iterating so how do i update so uh, it's an uh, it's an even uh, rule so uh, first i how do i get from a1 ij to uh, so 
we need to update uh, that that a i j can be updated to a 1 j a 2 j because 1 is 1 and 2 are bar of each other and then a uh, i 1 2 j and a i 2 1 j okay. and we just enumerate for all possible pairs and you can see that we have updated it's a good idea to work out few of the examples so that you can follow the logic of these annotations if you want to extend this for uh, uh, solving integer we also need to in, in, in introduce that aii bar is even in our tightness control we'll not provide the proof in the slides uh, please try to work out yourself how to prove this uh, in the case of integers we also need to adopt how you get to the uh, type dbms and to get there you need to have a, uh, we will present a incremental version of uh, DBMs. Let's suppose you have uh, uh, A is already tight and then you are about to update the entry A, a I not J not and A J not uh, I not bar. So how do we update that? Is uh, we uh, use the following rule, which two step rule. The first you have uh, you introduce uh, diagonal entries. Uh, you you update diagonal entries for as as follows okay you, you consider these two paths and then after what you update the diagonal entries uh, which following considering these paths and then finally you update the every entry if the the i bar and jj bar can produce something much more tight and this will produce your dbm okay tight dbm 